Hello, welcome to Kingdom Ingo TV. I am Mami Oye, and together with Domain Sites, we bring you trending news about celebrities and politics. To begin our stories, Ekia Pimpolo has been in the news for some time now, first with her nude video, which was followed by issues from Efia Schwarzenegger and her own bestie Susan Dabos. Now, she claims she got married with her wedding videos and pictures all over the place. Just this weekend, she finally showed the face of her supposed husband where the two were dancing with their bridesmaids and other guests around. She flaunted her wedding ring to mock her haters in almost every picture she took. After this event, she posted a message on her IG page. And we don't know whether some few hours after the wedding, her character and demeanor has changed to a motivational speaker. In the post, she motivated people who think they are down and have no hope for the life they are living and are stressed to go on since God has a final say and that your presence doesn't rely on your past. Let's have a look at that post. When we look at the post, she stresses on the fact that her past has not been defined by her presence and that it is God's will for her that has made her who she is now, being able to get married. She again made a post where she screen captured the Bible chapter Psalm 35. Let's have a look at that post. Interesting. Can we say marriage life has changed Ekrapim? Let's wait and see what happens after this. Dr. Ernest Oforisapo, Chief Executive Officer of Special Ice Mineral Water and also one of the very prominent businessmen in Ghana, finally walked her daughter down the aisle. The traditional marriage ceremony, which was exceptional with beauty and wealth on display, became the headline of every news and the topic for discussion in every home. Most Ghanaians didn't expect a white wedding right after this, but got surprised when the white wedding followed. Just like the traditional marriage ceremony, the white wedding was phenomenal, with most celebrities in Ghana present. Michael Blanson, Stoneboy, Kitty, Nana Mama Brown, D Black, Daddy Lumba, Lil Wayne, just to mention a few. The wedding, which was phenomenal, had exciting scenes you might have missed. Let's have a look at some of the scenes. Moving on, Nana 
to now the one time bestie of Ifia Schwarzenegger some days back teamed up with Miss Bell to get back at Ifia. In the video where the two attacked Ifia, Miss Bell and Tonado shared a passionate kiss. Now, could it be that the two are in a romantic relationship underground? Because one cannot understand why Tonado, who was not in the issue of Miss Bell and Ifia Schwarzenegger, come to support Miss Bell to get back at Ifia, or probably he has a score to settle with Ifia. Just after this, Tonado has made a revelation on Kantanka TV at Nayar's program where he said Pamela Odami was a prostitute and that he, some time back, had his way with her while Pamela was doing her prostitution job at Osu. This comes back after Ifia Schwarzenegger said he was a gay and that his gay activities still cannot earn him much. Probably he wants to tell Ghanaians that he is not, so he had to share his experience or encounter with Pamela Odami who is also a well-known celebrity, so it will sink into the minds of people that he is not gay. Ghanaian actress Vic Zuka has expressed her love for legendary actor Ajeti Anna. According to her, though she doesn't do married men anymore, she has a crush on Ajeti Anna. Speaking an interview on Joy Prime Showbiz, she claims she has a crush on Ajeti Anna and has not been able to tell him. I have always had a crush on Ajeti Anna. I have indirectly told him, but he did not seem to have noticed it. I don't want any trouble with his wife. So I won't even call him to tell him. I don't have any time to do with married men anymore. That's what she said. In our political news today, Abdul Malik Kwekubako, editor-in-chief of the New Crusading Guide newspaper, says chiefs who are endorsing some politicians are behaving like kindergarten kids. His comments comes after some traditional leaders have been heard endorsing President Akufuado and former President John Mahama, who are both touring various regions in the country. Kwekubako, speaking on Peace FM, said their actions were very wrong and they need to halt it. According to him, chiefs are not supposed to endorse politicians, whether sitting or former, or even parliamentary candidate. It is uncalled for and it is even unconstitutional. He said the chiefs can acknowledge developmental projects brought about by these leaders and not endorse them, since Article 27 of the 1992 Constitution prevents traditional leaders from engaging in politics. That's it for today. Catch you tomorrow for more trending news. My name is Mami Oye, together with Domain Sites, brought you our news for today. Connect with us Facebook Kingdomingo TV, Instagram Kingdomingo TV. Please like share and subscribe to Kingdomingo TV. Thanks for watching.